Hi, I'm Anita Goa. In this video, I'll be taking you through a bunch of standing yoga poses that will be great for those of you who are either beginners to flow yoga or find it really challenging to sit on the floor cross-legged Indian style. I made a tutorial video on the Indian style position, easy seat my five tips on how to make it a little bit easier on yourself as it is not such an easy pose for a lot of yogis to get into. I find that the standing yoga poses are a great gateway to the floor. So that really is the purpose of this routine. I'll be happy to build on this routine if you find that this one is helpful. So make sure that you let me know in the comment box below. I wanna hear how this feels on your body and make sure that you check out the tutorial as well as that's going to be very informative for this practice. All right, I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you on the mat. We're going to begin on the floor in a tabletop position. So make sure that you have all of your tools around you, a set of blocks, a strap is good, a couple of pillows maybe, a blanket, and a chair can also be very useful. So come forward on your hands and on your shins and knees. Your arms are going to be shoulder distance apart and your legs are going to be hip distance apart. We'll start off with a little bit of a cat-cow uh, spinal movements. Uh, the spine is very important to pay attention to as we stretch because the tighter the spine is, the tighter everything else is going to be. So you want to make sure that you keep your spine limber. You want to exhale as you round your back and then drop your head to shake out your head Press down into your shins and the tops of the feet as you root down into your palms. Feel that your shoulder blades are separating. Draw up through your lower belly. And try to soften your upper buttocks a little bit. And then inhale, we're going to arch the spine to a cow and curl our toes under. Try not to thrust your head back so that you feel discomfort in your neck. Just draw the breastbone forward and then try to press into your feet. Be in a position where you can breathe here. Let's do, do this two more times. Exhale, round the spine. Press into your shins and the tops of the feet. Inhale, arch your spine. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Good, and exhale, come to a neutral spine, whether your spine is long and then your toes are pointed. And from here, we're going to send our hips back into our heels. Now this might feel like it puts a lot of pressure on your knees, maybe on your quads. Maybe this is how far you can go. You can place a pillow behind you. So as you go back, it gives your knees a little bit of support, so feel free to do that. And then hang out here. Feel that you're supported through the arms, but not all of your weight is in your shoulders. Draw out of your shoulders as you just sink your hips back as far as they can go. And keep breathing. Keep breathing. Remember, all of this is going to happen over time. So every time that you practice this routine, just use it as an exploration and see what you can do today. Today might be different than what you did yesterday and tomorrow might be a different day. But try to be here now. Stay centered into your breath. And as you're going to start to come out of it, draw up into your abdomen, press into your shins, and then try to pull against the arms to help you to come out of it very gradually. All right? Take your prop away, and then you're going to place your hands on the blocks. And you'll know at what height you need your blocks to be at. See that your blocks are about shoulder distance apart. And curl your toes under. Root down into your palms as you draw up into the abs. Start to gradually lift your hips to the ceiling for a downward facing dog. Keep the heels way off the floor as you send your hips to the ceiling. Try to draw your chest towards your thighs. So you're feeling length through both sides of your spine and you feel that your spine is elongating. Don't worry about your calves and your hamstrings yet. 
Full breath in and full breath out. Now we're going to send our shoulders forward a little bit. We're going to round our back like we did that cat stretch and draw the knee to the navel. We're going to try to lift up as high as you can. Try to get that foot as high off the ground as possible. And then try to step that foot forward. And maybe you have to come up a little bit higher onto the blocks in order for that transition to happen. Okay? See that you're in a place now where your right knee is over your ankle. Press back into your left heel and lengthen all the way through your body to the crown of your head. Full breath in and full breath out. You might feel a gentle or maybe a lot of a stretch into the left hip flexor and into the quad. You might feel something around your right buttocks and the right hamstring. Good. Then we're going to ground through the palms and we're going to round the back again from this position. Draw up into the abdomen. See if you can lift that right foot off and then slowly step it back into a downward dog. Still keeping the heels way off the ground. Send the hips to the ceiling, to the sky. Send your shoulders forward a bit and then lift the left foot off. Round your back. Try to draw up, create as much space as possible and softly step the left foot forward into a low lunge. Come up as high as you need to come up. Alright, it's all about creating space. Free your mind and your hips will follow. Full breath in, full breath out. And maybe here you feel a stretch through the right hip flexor and quad, maybe through the left hamstring and buttocks. Try to start to become very aware of the right and the left side of your body. Now we're going to step the right foot forward. Feel like you're shifting your weight into the left foot. Maybe adjust the blocks back or forward and bend the right knee and softly step the right foot forward. Hip distance apart. Place your blocks in front of you. Keep the knees bent and lengthen your spine to a halfway pose as you inhale. And then exhale, bend the knees, softly fold over your thighs. Bend the knees as much as you need to so that you can drape your torso over your thighs. Then inhale again to halfway pose. And then exhale, softly fold over your thighs. Continuing to warm up the spine and keep the spine flexible as well as getting into the hamstrings. One more time, inhale, halfway pose. And exhale, softly fold. Then inhale, we're going to rise. Sweep the arms to the side and up. Gaze up towards your thumbs. And then exhale, rest the arms at the side of your body. Good. We're going to add on to this. Inhale, sweep the arms to the side and up. And then exhale, bend the knees, hinge it forward. Softly drape your torso over your thighs. Inhale it to a halfway pose. And then exhale, we're going to step the right foot back. Keep the height that works for you for that low lunge position. Left knee is lined over the ankle. Now we're going to exhale and we're going to straighten out the left leg. Come up as high as you can, trying to make sure that your hips are squared off to the front or towards the floor. All right, you don't want them to be open. You want to try to make sure that they're squared. So keep the right heel as high off the ground as you need to, or press it a little bit further into the ground. See if you can flex your left foot. But if you need to keep it pointed, that's also fine. Come up higher onto the blocks if you need to. Just want you to feel a little bit of a stretch into the calf and into the hamstring. We're going to bend the left knee again into the low lunge. And then we're going to bend the right knee a little bit as well. Press through the feet, draw up through the abdomen, and very gradually come up into a crescent lunge. While the right knee is bent, you're going to readjust your pelvis, draw in and up through the lower belly, lift through the chest, roll your shoulders back. 
So your head is over the shoulders and your shoulders are over your pelvis. From this position, as your left knee stays over the ankle, you're going to try to press back into the right heel. Just relax the shoulders, keep a focal point in front of you, and then feel a continued stretch with the right hip flexor and the quad. Full breath in, full breath out. Feel free to sweep the arms to the side and up. Turn your pinkies inwards and your palms towards each other so that the shoulders remain down in their sockets. Keep them at home. <laughs> Good, from here we're gonna straighten out both of the legs. And we're gonna lift and we're gonna pivot the right heel in and try to open up to a warrior two. So here, if you need to, bring your feet a little bit closer together in order to keep your hips leveled. Continue to feel that connection to your lower belly, so readjust your pelvis. Head is still over the shoulders and shoulders are still over the pelvis. As you start to feel that your inner thighs are opening up more, toe heel the right foot back a little bit and feel free to go into it a little bit deeper. Breathe in fully. Exhale completely. Breathe in fully, exhale completely. Good, now we're slowly going to draw in through the abdomen as we lower the hands to the floor, or to the blocks rather, come back into that low lunge position. Press through the palms, draw up through the abdomen, round the spine, try to lift that left foot off, and exhale, step back to a downward facing dog. Good. See now if maybe you can press the left heel in towards the floor. It doesn't have to touch. Then lift the left heel and try to press the right heel into the floor. Remember, it doesn't have to touch. Just feel that stretch into the calf and in towards the hamstring. Then lift. And I'm going to send the shoulders forward a little bit, round the back, draw up through the abdomen and softly Step that right foot forward into a low lunge position. Good. Come a little bit higher if you need to. You'll get used to the height of your blocks. And then try to exhale and straighten out the right leg. Foot is flexed or foot is pointed. Yogi's choice. All right, come up as high as you need to be. Keep your hips squared off to the front. Press back into the left heel or keep the left heel off the floor. Full breath in, full breath out. Now we're gonna re-bend the right knee back to that low lunge, adjust the blocks, adjust the back foot and bend the left knee as well. Then draw up through the abdomen, press through the feet, and gradually by using the support and the strength through your legs, you're going to come up pretty effortlessly through the upper body. Roll the shoulders open, readjust the pelvis so that you feel that lift through the lower belly, lift through your chest, roll the shoulders open. And from here, if you can, try to straighten out the left leg. So you continue to feel the stretch with the left hip flexor and quad. Maybe just rest the arms at the side of your body, or maybe open the arms to the side, turn your pinkies in, palms are facing each other, shoulders are dropped, and hold it here. Building strength, finding some flexibility, as well as balance. Then inhale, straighten out the right leg. Feel like you're drawing yourself up a little bit. And then from here, pivot the left heel in and open your body sideways for warrior two. And maybe you have to readjust the feet, come a little bit closer in order to find levelness through your hips. Feel that connection to your lower belly, chest up, shoulders roll back. And then as your inner thighs open, Toe heel, the left foot to the back a little bit further so you come deeper into it, continuing to build strength, flexibility, as well as balance. Noticing 
What side feels strong or weak? Good. Now we're going to slowly, as we draw the abdomen in, resist a little bit as we lower the hands back down to the blocks. Pivot the left heel off and come back into that low lunge position. Then shift the weight into the right foot, bend the left knee, and step it forward. Feet are hip distance apart. Inhale to a halfway pose. And then exhale, softly fold over your thighs. Shake out your head. Inhale, rise, sweep your arms to the side and up, gaze into your thumbs. And then exhale, rest the arms at the side of your body. Good, I hope you're feeling good. Let's move on. Inhale, rise. And then exhale, softly fold again, bend the knees. Now we're going to inhale to halfway pose and we're going to lift the heels off the floor. Keep your hands on the blocks or maybe even keep your hands on your chair. And then as the heels are open, or and as the heels are off the ground, we're slowly going to go into a little squat position. So shift your hips back and start to lower your seat towards your heels, just as much as your knees can handle. You don't want to feel this as pain in your knees. And then gradually straighten the legs up, lower the heels to the floor, and maybe try to flex the feet, lift your toes off the floor. Lower, lift your heels, bend the knees, and as your knees start to open up and your quads open up, maybe you can go all the way down into your heels. Then draw up through the abdomen, use the strength of your legs, straighten the legs out, lower the heels, and then try to flex. See if we can do that one more time. Lift the heels very gradually. Keep the support through the arms, but feel that your legs are doing the work. And then gradually press, draw up through the pelvic floor, through the lower abdomen, and then lower the heels to the floor. Good. That might take a little bit of time in order to get all the way to the heels, but try to be patient. Step your left foot back, and we're going to turn sideways into an, what's called an intense leg stretch position. So the feet are wide. You're going to lift your toes a bit off the floor as you're rooting down into your feet. And now we're going to bend the right knee like we're doing a, a single leg squat. So the knee is bent, pretty much lined over your ankle. You're sending your hips back. So you should not feel any pressure in the knee. This should be going all the way into your hips and giving you a good stretch through the left inner thigh. All right? You can hang out here with your chest lifted or you can move the blocks a little bit further forward or use a chair and then maybe stretch the arms out and it's like you're doing a downward dog, a different form of a downward dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Good. And gradually come up and then shift your weight over to the left side. Feeling that stretch with the right inner thigh and leaning back into the left heel. Just basically sending your hips back. No pressure in your lower back, no pressure in the knees. And then gradually extend maybe forward to see where your edge is at. Be in a position where you can breathe. Good, and slowly you're going to come up. Come back to the center, keeping the arms shoulder distance apart. You're going to lift your heels and turn your heels in. So your right foot is at two o'clock, and your left foot is at 10 o'clock. You're going to straighten the legs out, and then we're going to bend the knees, send the hips back, and then try to sort of sink into it a little bit. So you feel a deep stretch into the groin here. And then exhale, straighten the legs out. Inhale, bend. It should not go into your knees. Exhale, straighten the legs out. Again, inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten the legs out. 
Stay in that position or maybe move your feet a little bit closer together. Inhale, bend. And exhale, straighten the legs out. So this is a different Indian style position. It's called Malasana or low Indian squat. Has a lot of hip opening to it as well. And eventually we end up in this position. So it's a lot of flexibility in the knees and then the quads and then the hips in order to be able to do that one as well. All right, so just very gradually work towards it. Come back up, toe heel your feet apart, bend the knees and work your way back into a low lunge position. Right knee lined over the ankle, bend the left knee. You're going to press and then come all the way up. See if you can straighten out both of your legs. Keep your hips squared to the front. Really zip it up through the middle. Maybe reach the arms to the ceiling. Hold it here. Lots of balance. And then we're going to bend and open to a warrior two again. Yes, we've been here before. And maybe now it feels a little bit more open in your hips there. We're going to inhale and straighten out the right leg. And exhale, bend it to the side into a triangle pose. So make sure that your shoulders are open, stacked on top of each other. Rest your right hand on your shin or place your hands on blocks, however high you need to come. You want to feel the openness here. You can look up, look to the side, or look down. Wherever you can breathe your deepest breath. We're going to bend the right knee for an extended side angle. Line that knee over the ankle. Maybe come a little bit deeper into it and reach the left arm over the left ear. Keep rooting into your left foot. Draw and lengthen all the way out through the left side of your body, reaching out through your fingertips. And it's a pretty deep stretch all the way through that inner channel there of your right leg. Good. Lower the left hand to your left hip and look down to your right big toe. Bend the left knee, lift the heel off the floor, and then shift your weight into the right foot for a half moon pose. The right knee can be bent, you can come up onto the block, you can even use a chair. Try to find a position where your hips stack on top of each other and stay very strongly connected into your lower abdomen. Roll the shoulders open and it helps initially to look down so that you don't lose your balance. Full breath in, full breath out. Full breath in, full breath out. Good. Then we're slowly going to bend the right knee, shift it back, and come into a low lunge position. Ah, that's a handful. That's a handful, but just be patient as you're practicing that balance. Ground the palms, round the spine, draw up through the abdomen, try to lift the right foot and step it back to a downward dog. Send the hips to the ceiling, draw the torso towards your thighs, and then maybe now see if you can lower your heels towards the floor. And it's no big deal that the heels don't touch the ground. It's good that there's a little space there between it. Keep that yearning. Full inhale, complete exhale. We're going to send the shoulders forward, draw the left knee to the navel, round up and softly step that left foot forward. Come up a little bit higher if you need to. Bend the right knee, press and come up. We're going to straighten out both of the legs again like we did on the other side. Hips are squared off to the front. Zip right up through the middle. Lengthen it out. Maybe reach the arms to the ceiling. And then from there, bend the left knee, pivot that right heel in. 
and open it up to a warrior two. And notice if it feels different on this side, this time around. Good. Inhale, straighten out the left leg. And then exhale, bend it to the side, slide that left arm down, reach the right arm up for triangle pose. And just like on the other side, if you have to prop yourself up a little bit more, don't be afraid to do it. Because over time, it's going to change. Just trust that it will change. If you put in the practice, if you put in the hours, it will change. Good, now re-bend the left leg. Maybe come down a little bit lower and reach the right arm over the right ear. Feel that stretch all the way through the right side, all the way to the right heel and up into the right fingertips. Full breath in, full breath out. Lower the right hand to the right hip. Look down to your left big toe. Bend the right knee, lift the heel. Dip down a bit and then see if you can push off into that left leg. Either hold the left hand on the block under your shoulder or come up onto the chair, readjust the pelvis, draw the lower belly in and up, try to roll that right hip open so the hip stack, press out through that right heel, draw up through the breastbone, keep looking down, full breath in, full breath out. Full breath in, full breath out. Good, and slowly bend the left knee and see if you can step it back into that low lunge position. Yeah, very gradually, take as many steps as you need to. And from here, bend both knees. Try to find that buoyancy, try to find that lightness, and step the right foot forward. Inhale to halfway pose, and then exhale, softly fold over the thighs. Oh, shake out the head. Inhale, rise, sweep your arms to the side and up, gaze up to your thumbs. And exhale, rest the arms at the side of your body. Very good. Starting to feel a little bit more open. We're going to work our feet together. Really feel like you're rooting down into your feet, lifting up through the breastbone. We're going to shift the weight into the left foot as we gradually draw the right knee towards your chest. So as you lift that leg off the ground, you're going to feel like you're lifting it up from your abs, just as far as you can. Interlace your fingers, either hold in front of the knee and try to draw your knee as close to your chest as you can, or hold your hands behind your knee and draw the knee as close to your chest as you can. While you're feeling like you're pulling in and lifting up, lengthening out like crazy. You're growing another inch taller. Then readjust the knee, lower it down a little bit, flex the foot and try to straighten the leg out as much as you can. Point the foot and then bend the knee. Exhale, flex the foot, extend, Inhale, point and bend. Exhale, flex, extend. Inhale, point and bend. Draw the knee into your chest and slowly lower your foot next to your left foot. Let's do that on the other side. Shift your weight over into the right foot, lifting the heel. And as you lift the leg, draw through the abdomen. Feel like you're lifting the leg from your abs. Still extension in your spine. Either it interlace the hands around the left knee or behind the knee. Go as high up as you can. All right, hold it, lower the knee a little bit, flex the foot, extend the leg, point and bend.
exhale flex, extend, inhale point, and bend one more time, exhale flex, extend, inhale point, and bend, and release it down. Great, so that creates also a little bit more strength in the quads, in the hip flexors, in the hamstrings, while opening up the hamstrings as well. We're going to step the left foot back into a position where your hips can be squared off to the front. Your left foot is turned in a bit and the right heel and the left heel are lined up. We're going to lift the chest and we're now going to hinge it forward. Maybe you have to bend your right knee a little bit in order to get there. Either place your hands on the blocks and then see if you can come into a position where your right leg eventually is straight. Or maybe you have to come up a little bit higher onto a chair. All right, from here, we're going to breathe in fully, exhale it completely. Breathe in fully, exhale completely. And from here, you can hang out here, or you can try a rotated triangle pose. Keep the left shoulder on top of the wrist. Draw the sitting bones and the tailbone back as you draw your breastbone forward. And then very gradually, we're going to twist from the bottom of the ribs as the hips remain square and parallel to the floor. And then gently twist it open. All right, so this is quite challenging. Maybe you want to come up a little bit higher. You can come up a little bit higher. Full breath in, full breath out. Full breath in, full breath out. Good, and then gradually release. Bend the right knee and step the left foot forward. Inhale halfway, exhale and fold. In rise, exhale, rest the arms to the side. Good. We're going to step the right foot back and come into the same position on the other side. Step the right foot back as far as you can. Still keep your hips squared off to the front. Usually it's like three to three and a half feet or so. Right foot is turned in, left heel is lined up with the right heel. So lift the chest, maybe bend the knees as you hinge forward from your hips in order to find a position where you can stay in, either the top of the blocks or maybe onto a chair. And then see if you can find a position where you can keep both of your legs straight. Full breath in, full breath out. Full breath in. Full breath out and just try to notice how it feels on this side. It might feel very different from the other side. Keep the right shoulder on top of the right wrist and then draw back through the tailbone, draw forward through the breastbone. Keep the hips leveled as you draw up through the abdomen. Try to twist from the bottom of your ribs and gently Rotate into a rotated triangle pose. You can either look up, look to the side, or look down. And then also here, if you need to come up a little bit higher, you can come up a little bit higher. Full breath in, full breath out. Good, and gradually release out of it. Bend the left knee. Step the right foot forward, hip distance apart. Inhale to halfway pose. And then exhale, softly fold over your thighs. Ah, shake it loose. Inhale, rise, sweep the arms to the side and up. Gaze it up to your thumbs. And exhale, rest the arms to the side. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. I hope you're starting to feel a little looser. Just shake it out a little bit. All right, let's sit down onto the floor. 
Take your blocks and put them to the side. Keep the knees bent, hip distance apart, and you're just going to roll down onto the floor vertebrae by vertebrae, really using your abdominals. When your lower back is about to hit the ground, draw the navel in a little bit more and see if you can lift your feet off the floor. Just notice how light your feet become. And then roll yourself all the way down. And just very gradually draw your knees towards your chest. Relax your shoulders. If you need to, use a rope and hold for a little bit more leverage. Just hold it around like this and keep drawing the knees just as close as they possibly can go. Relax your shoulders down to the floor. Just let your lower back settle. So just let your spine settle, your lower back, your middle back, and your upper back. Allow your hips to settle in a little bit. It's quite intense to go through all of those standing poses. It takes a bit of effort, but I hope that you will start to feel changes over time. All right, then release the knees a little bit away from your chest. Cup your hands around the knees. Draw the knees away so that your arms extend. Lift your head. Draw it through the abdomen. And you might use a little bit of momentum in order to come up initially. But eventually you're going to keep drawing in through the abdomen, sending the legs forward, just imagine that your legs are 500 pounds, and then eventually you'll be able to roll yourself up, all right, as a connected unit. Now let's cross our legs and try to notice how our hips feel. So keeping the legs crossed, leaning forward, and come up as high as you feel that you need to. Just notice the changes over time. Maybe you're here. Just spend a little time to find your position for today. Not comparing it with what it was yesterday. But just noticing exactly what it is you need today. And then once you're in your position, close your eyes. Full inhale, complete exhale. Just allow the knees to drop down into the blocks. Allow the quads and the hip flexors to soften. Allow your pelvis to become heavy. You feel your abdominals engaged, chest lifted, shoulders roll back. Sit for as long as you want. Work your palms together in front of your heart. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope that this was helpful. Please let me know in the comments below. Namaste. Thank you. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Enjoy. Come back often to practice with me and then start to feel your hips opening up. Let me know. Bye.